Yo, Pisces, good morning. Welcome to your general reading. My name is Clive. You're watching Emery's Tarot. Please take these readings out of resonate. Okay. <clears throat> if it doesn't resonate naturally, then it's not for you. Okay. Perhaps a later video will be. I do do personal readings. The email is in the description box below. If it's not readily apparent, please click the more button. So with that said, what's going on for the sign of Pisces? What's going on for the sign of Pisces? Star card, are you dealing with an Aquarius Pisces? If you are, then yeah, that's a good start. Okay, because there's a lot of healing here. There's new hope. Okay, I'm kind of getting that there is an energy of pouring a calmness over troubled waters, uh, mainly due to your attitude towards this person. All right, now, there may have been a period of silence. Okay, but what I'm getting is mm, some messages coming in. Okay, it's, it's kind of like the universe is correcting the situation. It's opening up a new opportunity for you. Now, if you, if you are not dealing with an Aquarian, it doesn't matter. This is still a very good energy, okay? The universe wants you to go in a certain direction. For this, you must trust your intuition, okay? And keep balance within yourself, okay? Yes, I said trust your intuition, but also you have to be practical about the thing, you know? So if there's travel involved, you also have to take this into account. All right, this star card is a very, very good start. All right, I've got the Wheel of Fortune here underneath. So there's a big shift in the energy between you and the person you're dealing with. All right. Yeah, some big, big changes here. Now, I'm kind of getting due to expectations. And... Perhaps you thought the path you were on in life was kind of set. This is kind of a, a realignment. All right. I'm getting that some of you may or may not accept this person in your life. You, you kind of suspect that they're not telling you everything. All right. But... You're getting back in your power. I've got Aquarius and Scorpio energy here. <laughs> choices, choices, choices. But the underlying energy is with the this change card, as I like to call it. Yes, it is the death card, but it's change. Okay. I'm kind of getting that. Uh, you do see light at the end of the tunnel now. I'm I'm picking up. There's there's not so much extreme in emotions and attitude with this situation mm, very very slow approach wow there's a lot of mixed up energies here Aquarius, Scorpio now Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn especially Taurus mm. You dealing with three people, three situations? Wow, complex. Somebody from the past on getting is about to contact you. This is somebody, not necessarily an ex, but this is somebody you've lost contact with. Okay, and they, they kind of want to do it right. They're not sure on your reaction. This is why they're very, very slow in approaching. Plus the fact they've been very, very busy. Okay. It's a bit like somebody here is going to test your metal. Now, whatever was said in the past, but somebody's going to call your bluff. Okay. They're going to ask you to back up what you've said, or you're going to ask them to back up what they said. All right. There was perhaps a marriage involved, or there perhaps still is a marriage involved. Okay. But uh, you're on a new path. This is you, King of Cups. You are in control of your emotions. You're using that experience and wisdom of yours to uh, 
correct any misalignments in the past. If they, if you, if you've been in a situation where they had control, okay, they're no longer in control. You are. Right, you're sticking to your story kind of thing. And as for this bluff, I'm kind of getting some of you are actually saying, yeah, bring it on. Bring it on. I know what I want. Like a counter bluff. Wow. There's a lot of bravado going on here. It's, ooh, relocation, dealing with the authorities. Mm -hmm. This is going to take some sorting out. Okay, progress is slow. Now, as I say, to simplify matters for the for the for the purpose of this reading, okay, it doesn't matter what your situation is. I'm kind of getting there's relocation and travel involved now. Whether that's temporary or permanently will depend on you. I'll leave that one to you. But there's relocation here, okay, and where there's been a lot of delays in this particular connection situation, I'm getting you're now going to get some movement. All right. But the, you know, it, it's kind of like being constricted to the ways of the authorities. You know, we've got to abide by laws of other countries. If you're in America, even in states, I'm sure a lot of the laws in, say, Texas is very different from California. You know, it's, so wherever you are, it's dealing with the authorities here. Even if you're in the UK or in Europe, or anywhere else for that matter perhaps you're dealing with legal issues regarding the sale of a home okay you could be in the midst of a divorce here okay but whatever your situation there's movement you're in a bit of a regrettable energy here okay but uh your decision here on this situation is permanent. Mm hmm I'm getting, for those of you where there's news coming in, like I said, and you've got a decision to make. Now, this is a kind of like, you've got to see the reality of the thing. If you kind of are living in a dream state with a lot of hopes and ambitions, then, you know, you've got to be able to kind of back this up. If, if you avoid the truth, okay, of the situation between you and this person, okay, the chances are it'd be very hard to sustain a connection with this person. But you are learning to work together. I'm kind of getting for, for a lot of you, at least now you're talking. So it's like, that's a start. Yeah, somebody's opening up to you. All right. They're very studious. They're asking you energetically, not necessarily verbally, but they're asking you energetically to be open-minded. Wow. There is some kind of sacrificial energy here of a change of lifestyles. But uh, what I'm really getting is this person, you know, is they want specifics off you. You are dealing with the past, a lot of you. Okay. This person feels that, you know, you can backtrack a little bit with what's happened, sort some of the past issues out. <clears throat> okay. But you, you want some kind of reconciliation. Okay. This person is obliging, like I said, at least now for a lot of you, you're talking, okay, and it's a start. But there's a great opportunity and a great shift in the energy between you and this person. Now, the decisions you make from now on, okay, and your ambitions and decisions here will kind of di dictate the way this goes. That's what this death card's all about, okay? Either way, 
it's this is a kind of like what well, you're already doing this keeping your emotions in check okay but you're following your your heart but you're kind of not in any hurry it's not a cup series following up okay on the offer you made okay because there's still some issues with the past that need to be sorted okay the person you're dealing with i'm kind of getting the the energy between you two is one of regret on the way it's turned in out or turned out but what i'm getting here is you know movement in your situation and what i'm also getting i can see travel i can see a meeting okay i can see conversation taking place okay which uh will kind of make a lot of you happy therefore it will give you what you wish for now onwards after that i'm kind of getting the decisions you make like i say is will dictate the way this goes so it's not cut and dried all right you know with that star card there it's Don't be so quick to jump. You know, hold back a little bit. That's what that's saying. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye for now.